What is going on, everybody? I'm Giant Opinion Sports, and the New York Giants have assigned Tyrod Taylor to be the new backup quarterback. He's had a rough journey in NFL with setbacks, injuries, teams drafting a quarterback with him on the roster. Unbelievable stuff. Now, last season, he had an off year for how he normally performs, but he's capable of being a solid quarterback. Last year, he had a PFF grade of 59.2, so not great, but not awful. He had 966 passing yards, eight total touchdowns, five interceptions. Now, five of them were passing, three rushing, and his rushing is a nice feature to his game. He is capable of making guys miss, scrambling for big chunks of yardage if no one pops open, the kind of plays that really get under the defense's skin and can force them to start pressing. Now, I'm happy with the signing. He hasn't played a whole lot the last four years, just because of all the reasons I've mentioned. The last season he got serious playing time was 2017, where he had 2,800 yards passing and 18 total touchdowns. Now his best season was in 2016, where I believe, I think he had 23 total touchdowns that year. So he's not a high touchdown kind of guy, but he can get in the end zone at a good clip. And his feet are a serious weapon. Now he's had four seasons with at least three rushing touchdowns. So no more worries if Daniel Jones goes down, another injury. And listen, Tyrod can win you games if he's the starter. What surprised me was the contract. They gave him a two-year deal worth $17 million. I wasn't expecting a second year on the contract, but I get it. You know, that lowers the cost the first year on the deal, and it gives him the bulk of the guaranteed money right up front. So if you want to move on after one season, you can. This will make the fans happy that say DJ needed a quarterback to push him. I'm not really, I wasn't subscribing to that. You know, from everyone and everywhere I read and see, everybody just says that DJ is a workout warrior. He's a very hard worker. And listen, if he doesn't produce this season, he'll be a backup for the rest of his career, most likely. And that feels like much more of a motivator than having a decent backup. So everyone should be happy with the signing, other than, you know, the few that just hate everything. Nothing you can do about them people. I'm already seeing some say he'll be the starting quarterback next year. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far yet, but here's where I think Tyrod's role is needed. If DJ don't prove he's the guy this year, you have a guy in place already on a contract to tutor the next young quarterback that the Giants might bring in. And I do think there's a decent amount of value to have that. And on the team for seven, eight million, uh, you know, that's that's good. And if DJ balls this season, this signing don't stop you from re-signing or tagging Daniel Jones. It's eight million. It was a couple more than I thought he'd get. But in fairness, if Taylor is just a backup and he never starts, it's only a two-year, eleven million dollar deal. Really, if he doesn't start, you're talking about five and a half million a year. I mean, that's right about. Actually, I made a video and that's right about where I said. So I get it. You want to throw the incentives in? I'm fine by that. I have no problem with any of this. But now. The future, one way or another, is in place here for whichever direction the Giants want to go. I'm not going to complain. I really didn't care who the backup, what the backup situation is. My kind of thinking is, hey, if Daniel Jones gets hurt or he sucks this year, <laughs> I want as low a pick in the draft as possible. So that's out the window now, but at least we're guaranteed pretty much to get decent football all through the year with Tyrod here. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think of the signing. Remember, Officially, it's a two-year 17, but it's really only a two-year $11 million deal. So judge it on that with all the conditional stuff. But let me know in the chat what you think. Like this video helps me grow. You guys have done a great job with that. I appreciate you all. Subscribe if you're new. I do all kinds of giant stuff. I also do draft stuff. I got a mock draft coming out here in a little bit. I do specific analysis of some of these draft prospects. So but everybody stay safe, stay warm, peace.